Remember the Alamo Where Davy Crockett in his prime Had died for his time This country of ours owes so much to so many great and good men who fought and died to preserve the freedom and liberty we enjoy today. Such a man was Davy Crockett. Nowhere in our history was the true meaning of our American heritage more evident than at the Alamo, where Davy Crockett and 186 men, outnumbered 30 to 1, fought against 5,000 Mexican soldiers. Davy Crockett was there, Jimmy Bowie was there, they had come to fight for liberty. When the smoke had cleared, all was lost, they feared, but they won the special place in history. Now that was on March 6th, 1836, at the end of Davy's life. But how did he get to the Alamo? What sort of man was he? Was he a hunter? Best shot in Tennessee is all. Shot 105 bear once in nine months. Of course, Davy'd been a hunting since he was eight, when he'd take his dad's gun and hunt meat for supper. His father used to give him just one bullet. If Davy missed and the animal got away, there'd be no supper. Well, Davy learned not to miss. Was he an Indian scout? Listen, in 1813, Andrew Jackson used him to scout against the Warren Creek Indians, and he was something. Whether he was shooting Indians or creeping through a forest, it was all in a day's work to Davy. Was he a congressman? Yep. He wasn't called a coonskin congressman for nothing. Served three terms, too, but lost his fourth because he fought against a bill that was unfair to the Indians. It would have broken a treaty with him. A treaty's a promise, said Davy. And was he a soldier? The best. That's why Colonel Davy Crockett went to Texas. He'd heard General Sam Houston, that's him on a horse, was leading the Texans against the tyranny of General Santa Ana, and he wanted to help them gain their independence. Now, Texas at this time belonged to Mexico, but it wasn't this peaceful then. Santa Ana was a dictator with no regard for the law. He even abolished the Constitution. This and other acts like it caused the Texans to revolt. And it was here at the Alamo in San Antonio, Texas, that the greatest siege and battle of the Texas War of Independence took place. And Davy Crockett, along with Jim Bowie and Colonel Travis, was in the thick of it. Davy Crockett was there, Jimmy Bowie was there. These were men who had never known defeat. Colonel Travis was in charge, though his forces weren't large. Still he ordered them to stand and not retreat. And stand they did. They killed over 500 Mexicans. They held out for 13 days till no ammunition was left, and then only after fierce hand-to-hand -hand fighting did Davy Crockett and the Alamo finally fall. But Davy Crockett and the brave men of the Alamo didn't die in vain, for they gave Sam Houston time to raise an army which won independence for the Texans by defeating Santa Ana with the help of the battle cry, Remember the Alamo! Remember the Alamo! 